forgot to show this. Over here at the fighting club. This is before the point that I beat Gene. What do you want? I'm gonna follow Mo because I just lost to Gene of the Rock Club. If you wanna fight me, then go and beat Gene in the car battle first. You're only worth my time if you're able to beat that jerk Gene. So I guess that's why he only wanted to battle me after that, but he had a lot of confidence that he'd be able to beat me despite me beating Gene, who beat him. So it still doesn't make much sense. But then again, he was not the brightest bulb, so... Maybe it does make sense. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Everything is back to my regular save. So we can go ahead and now go to different locations. I'm thinking either the Grass or Science Club. Let's go to the Grass Club. Oh no, that doesn't sound good with the music. Not good at all. Hello. I'm Heather, a member of the Glass Club. You're meant to the one resisting Team GR, right? Well, Clubmaster Nikki is driven out of the club by G no GR number two. Oh no! As suspected, our club is now unfortunately the territory of the nefarious Team GR. In any case, take this. I managed to keep it hidden. Woo! the back! Yeah! Oh ho ho! Oh, even more powerful, even more. Discard one energy card attached to your own Pokemon. Discard two energy cards attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Yeah, that's going in my deck. <laughs> uh, water gun powers up like all the other water guns with the more energy, but limited to 20. And whoops, no, no, no. And agility. You can also potentially prevent all effects of attacks. Fury attack. I mean, fury swipes, not fury attack. Three coins, 20 damage times number of heads. And you may cause confusion on the second attack. That may not work in your favor, but that does fit Primate for sure. Uh, yeah, another water gun that Delio. White Cannon. Yeah, that's, this is the part of the Fossil series, you know, the Mysterious Fossil deck. So you still need Mysterious Fossils to even play this, even if you have the Ammonite, because this is a stage two. Keep that in mind, so that's out of our water potentials right now. Unspore Paralysis, baby! And you could also call for family, well... <laughs> facing out is you can kind of stall for stuff. Kinda handy. Oh, no, no! I did it again, I pressed down before I was done. Discard one, psychic energy card, or use the attack, and you can look at this. Put a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. That could be quite handy, depending on your deck. You could even combine it with a mysterious fossil! <laughs> uh, water gun. Yep, yeah, that's all it's got. And there, oh! We got a mysterious fossil! Look at that! Still can't believe that, um, uh, on the star, because the, uh... Um, yeah, no Ammonite uh, go with the Mysterious Fossil, but details! We're building up our card collection here. Voltorb, you know, the tackles, water energy, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Please ask Brittany where Nikki is hiding out. Uh, wait, you you can't ask her... Your, yourself? I... My name is Kristen. I'm a Grass Club member, of course. Our club master, Master Nikki, has fled from the club. I was told to give you this if you stop by to investigate. Woo! The bust back! Yes! I third of an extended series. Do not use it during your next turn. It's... Well, it's, it's switchable. Pretty easily switchable, actually, with that one retreat cost, but, you know, since you gotta pay the retreat cost, it, it may still kinda affect that. But that's not a bad sight there, as a matter of fact. Um, Defender? Very, very good card, as you know. Clefairy Extended Series, follow me! You can swap them with a Gust of Wind, that can be handy. And Swinging Fingers, put them to sleep, but they can recover with just the coin flip of a heads. Um, Kadab, oh, you know that. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'll just move on here. <laughs> Lullaby, sleep, and pound for 20. Supersonic, and hide in a shell. And you got your confusion, and you've got your potential damage stall, so. It's, you know, it's 
stage one, prevent stuff until you get the closer. Although closer's got kind of low HP, which is kind of strange for a Pokemon that's supposed to have a lot of a lot of defense, but even Shelter has low HP. So it's, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if that's the best evolutionary line in the game to choose from. <laughs> Um, this is an interesting one, the XA Cute. It uses Psychic Energy, even though it's a Grass Pokémon, to put the opponent's Pokémon to sleep. So you could splash a little Psychic in there to cause sleep condition. But, but that may get in your way, depending on how much color lists you can afford to use on other Pokémon and whatnot. Um, and you can also suck out the energy with like all leech attacks. Single horn attack and basic energy. All right, please do your best to help Nikki. Brittany knows who she fled to. You can find Brittany sitting at the dueling table over there. So you got, you guys, well, you girls, not helping here. But it actually did help because, <laughs> because now um, I'm actually gonna select this because we're you know we're dealing with grass Pokemon here. So we are going to view that deck, and guess what we're gonna add to a deck! <laughs> I gotta knock it back down to uh, 60 cards, and I'm actually thinking because of our energy suckage of our Pokémon, I should add the other energy retrieval. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, anyway. And I guess I could defend the... I guess I... Um, Maybe I don't need the trader after all right now, because I don't really need to accelerate things that much. Uh, and of course, super energy removal is going in there. Um, I'm also thinking of rebalancing the other critters a little bit to kind of make room for said trainers. Uh, well, actually, um, I was also thinking about the Machamp, yeah, I got, I got two Machamps there, I, I was thinking about using them too, but that puts me at 65, but I'll figure something out here, I, I don't want to drop the Onyx, it's a nice stall card, and maybe I'll drop the Diglett for now, because it's not going to be helpful versus grass types, um, I'm not <laughs> maybe I'll actually drop these, like I said before, because they use a lot of fires, so yeah, I'll do that with the Growlithe as well, and maybe the Ponyta as well, and save that. You got 15 basics still, so that's still good. So, now nah, I'll keep it as is, and let's give Brittany a duel. Hey there, I'm Brittany of the Grass Club. Say, you're mint kid going after GR number two, right? If you want to beat him, you'll need to speak with Nikki first. Beat me, and I'll tell you where she is. Lewis, I won't tell you anything. Yep, I knew I had to duel her. If you're ready to test your abilities, let's duel. No, no duel, eh? All I have to say to you, then, is goodbye. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I spoke with the other ones first, and maybe they can't beat Brittany, that's why. <laughs> Etc. deck returns, but with some slight upgrades. Anyway. Yeah, it's a little, well, let's just say slight change. I don't know if I'd say they're upgrades, but etc. deck. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes. That might not matter. Oh, I don't. No energy! I didn't even change my energy balance. Like, why? Why am I getting so unlucky with energy? Well, I'll save my Magmar, I guess. And just put out Machop for now, because the Magmar is probably going to be the key card for whipping her. Because, you know, fire versus grass. Although, um, she does, yeah, I was going to say she uses the poison type of grass. Or I should say the science type of grass. Uh, yeah, yeah I mentioned that before. <laughs> oh no, oh no, 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 no. Of course, she's going to have a powerful hand. And, you know, I don't even have the energy removals. <laughs> I don't even have the energy removals. <laughs> she does 30. Uh, you know, this is kind of an awkward spot, because I don't know if I want to use the Defender to, you know, to save the Machop. This is because the Horn might not actually do anything anyway. And I got other critters waiting in the wings. Oh, there you go! <laughs> Where's my energy cards? I don't, I don't have that little energy in my deck. Why am I not drawing them lately? That's, I have a pretty, there. Okay, <laughs> I have a pretty good balance of energy cards, I'd say, compared to the basics and everything like that. So I was like, come on! 
Uh, it's, Horns has it's probably gonna KO us, yeah, he's not got the tails. Probabilities were against me, even though it's 50-50 every time, but it's like, you know, if you got something that's got something, it's, it's probably gonna be able to do something, you know? Um, I'm gonna go with the smoke screen and rely on this coin flip on top of their coin flip because that coin flip is 50% plus my 50%, so I think it's probably not gonna hit a 25%. Probably not, so I'm gonna assume that I don't need to do any defenders. Probably. Good, good. Smoke screen worked before it even got a chance. And now with Magmar here, you got the smog. I'm tempted to use that because I can automatically knock out the Nidoran if I get poison. But at the same time, I might not, so I'm gonna continue smoke screening. <laughs> and save the fire energy in case I actually need it for something. Because. I don't know what's wrong with my deck draws lately. <laughs> Alright, Tack has a Mista. Alright, now I guess I can knock out that. Uh, let's see, she's got the Weedle. I don't. Defender won't help that much against the poison. I mean, it will a little bit, but chances are I'm just going to be able to knock it out anyway, because she's going to swap to that. Unless she gets another basic Pokemon, I'll be able to knock it out with the Smog in one hit because it's got 40 HP, so I'll just assume I don't need the Defender anyway. That is my current logic. Poison- oh, yep, she's a goner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you poison me. It's just gonna do 20 instead of 10 by the end of the turn. But I'm gonna do the double damage smog, and that is gonna be it. Um, I guess I could, for the fun of it, play Meowth on the bench, power it up, smog attack, get no poison, and it doesn't matter anyway because it doesn't do 40 with the weakness. And she doesn't have any bench Pokemon, which means that this game- oh, there we go. Which means this game ends early. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> yep, just as strong as I thought. Here, take these booster packs. Woo! Well, that wasn't too, too long of a duel. I could probably look around- oh, Scoop Up's an interesting- Choose one of your Pokemon and play and return its basic Pokemon card to your hand. Yeah, it's kind of a- it sort of reminds me of Devolution Spray in a way, only it's kind of like that it, it does more discards. And the thing about it is that it also heals as opposed to... Yeah, so Scoop Up's kind of useful. Uh, and da da da, Kingler, Flail, looks like Magikarp's Flail, Crab Hammer. So uh, the Flail is better with this Kingler, because uh, it's got 60 HP than the Magikarp's uh, 30 HP, so... Yeah! Anyway. Hunter, you know that, you know that, you know that, know that, 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 hello, kind of new card. It confuses water energy, we are good. <laughs> Premier booster pack to bolster our collection. No, oh, ho, ho. Hello, Rain Dance. Hello. Well, actually, you don't have to use it particularly in Rain Dance, but it definitely helps because it uses specifically water energy. Yeah, you've seen me dominate with Gyarados before. Double kicks. Oh, yeah, we did this super potion. I don't know. I don't know if I'd say it's an upgrade to the regular potion because it knocks out an energy card, but it can heal more. So uh, it has it has its own uses. <laughs> energy retrieval. You know that. You know that. Hello. Woo! <laughs> Got the slaps. Good basic. It's one for twenty. Headbutts. Uh, oh wait, that, we, I think you've seen this one. Yeah, you've seen that banana before. Okay, we're good. You wanted to know where Nikki is hiding, correct? You can find her at Ishihara's, the house near the Northwest Cape. Hurry to Ishihara's house and speak with Nikki. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, and by the way, I, I forgot to do this first again. I forgot, yeah, I was gonna do the rundown of grass Pokemon. <laughs> Song against rock, weak against fire. Well, actually, the, the quote-unquote science slash poison also strong against rock, but they have, you know, they have, you, you, you know what I'm saying. Weak against fire Pokemon. They are additionally sometimes strong against water Pokemon. Depends on something like Polyrath. Their attacks rely mostly on the grasses, energy cards, 
and Pokemon Breeder, because there's a lot of Stage 2 Pokemon farms, so you might want to use Pokemon Breeder to get them into their last forms, but we don't have Pokemon Breeder, nor do we have <laughs> any Stage 2 grasses. Grass Pokemon have a common weakness against Fire Pokemon! That makes Water Pokemon their ideal partners, as Fire is weak to Water. That is a good tip! When it sends out a fire, swap it to a water type. That's kind of what I had set up ahead of time. But anyway, I'm going to go up here over to the grass area. It's a pretty serene little place. You just kind of relax by the fountain, but other than that, no one's here. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I could also check over at the science club really quick. Um... Hey Mint, it's me, Joseph of the Science Club. Look at this place! GR number two of Team GR is to blame for all this. Our club's been taken over and our club master Rick has been kidnapped! Well, was kidnapped. I ask you, Mint, please find and return Rick! Only you, the one who defeated the Grand Masters, can do this! I've been told that Team GR number two is over in the grass club. What? I was just there! He was not there! If I understand correctly, he's taking control of their garden. Oh man, oh man, let me go around over here, you can take a look at their science-y wares and stuff like that, but, well, even their computers have been boarded up, and their floor has a new decal, which they probably would not welcome. Uh, science guy, oh, I'm David, the science club member who builds and record machines. Team GR has locked up our deck machines. So, oh, it's a mess. However, would you care to duel me? I've hidden my cards from them. Uh, eh, sure. We have play four prize cards for this duel. I'll have you know, though, I won't be defeated so simply. Natural science deck is a go. Oh, I should look at the bookcases again. <laughs> I always forget to look at the bookcases. No basics. I have 15 in my deck. <laughs> No basics, though. Even a seven-card draw, no basics. Um, in the actual trading card game, the opponent would be able to draw two cards if I had no basic Pokémon. They change that to one card in later uh, rule updates. But in this game, zero. Absolutely zero, so... And I only got a Charmander. Well, I got Super Energy removal. Well, that could help a little bit. How? How could I be lacking the basics? How? Oh. Ooh, um, I'm gonna go... Oh, that's, oh, that's the bad Porygon! <laughs> uh, I don't even have to worry about the Bulbasaur. I uh, guess Charmander's got the weaknesses. Alright, so, I'll just scratch. He's gonna have conversion, and I won't be able to do any damage for a bit. And then I'm gonna evolve over to, um, if there's any, well, okay, I, I can still do damage, excuse me, but yeah. Uh, it's, it's the second attack he's gonna convert to, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to not attack because he may decide to switch and instead abuse the AI and go over to Charmeleon. But and he goes, yeah, then he'll realize, oh no, he's not gonna be able to attack because he doesn't have the energy cards. Only I'm preparing for the Bulbasaur. Get it? Get it? Good. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I got enough energies. So we are good seers, and here's, here's the resistance chain, but that's not going to do anything to my flamethrower. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it will knock it down by 30, but... <laughs> the, the 30 minus 50 is 20, so... Yeah, I don't even know uh, I powered it up, but anyway, I'm <laughs> over to Bulbasaur now. I might be able to end this duel early as well. Bulbasaur is getting a tackle! Wow. That was powerful. <laughs> I think my rebalancing of the deck helped a lot, actually. And in, in, oh, I forgot to put Bill in there, though. But anyway, um, I didn't even have to use a super energy removal. Just for fun, I'm putting the Defender on there. And but yeah, I think the rebalancing, because I got some more, I guess you could say, utilities, as opposed to a lot of basics that I'm not really able to do much with it, I guess you could say. I, 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 well, anyway, I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is another one of those things where I beat them too fast for them to get their prize card. I mean, for them to fill up their bench to take all the prize cards. And let's take some booster packs from him as he's willing to gift us for our victory. Yes! 
Yes! <laughs> Remember Hitmonchan? The awesome Hitmonchan? That's going straight in my deck along with Bill. Um, what else do we have? Uh, nothing new, okay. Mirror Booster. And Venomoth is interesting. Uh, you can change the type of Venomoth to the type of any other Pokémon, so you can uh, use that to basically always give yourself a type advantage, but it doesn't affect its weakness. And you can also confuse and poison at the same time with Venopaw, but that's gonna do 20 damage because of the Pokémon power, you know, giving you the power to give them weakness, but so you'd also potentially do 10 more on top of that, so, Venomoth isn't that bad, actually. It's, it's 70, stage 1, as well, and you know, it's a cheap energy cost, so not too bad. We're good. <laughs> you can definitely beat Team Jar. That's my hypothesis mint. Yeah, I probably can pull it off. I'm Eric, a science club member studying the Pokemon Guard game, but I can't use our deck machine since GR number 2 locked them up. Oh, man. Use those boards and sprint you for hitting those buttons. A quick list of characteristics for poison Pokemon cards or science Pokemon. Strong against rock and ground Pokemon. Weak against psychic Pokemon. They specialize in poison, sleep, and confusion status effects. Their attacks rely mostly on grass energy cards. So yeah, there's the thing is about status effects. Poison Pokemon and oversleep, poison and confusion status moves. If you rely on Pokemon powers, have some full heal cards in your deck. This way, you don't have to worry about status stopping your powers. Most poison Pokemon are weak against Psychic. Rock fighting Pokemon resisted the Psychic types in your poison deck. Jigglypuff, Lickitung, and Snorlax. Yes! They're all good choices. <laughs> Actually, Snorlax uses a lot of energy. But anyway, I should probably do a little deck of modification -os before I forget to. Uh, I guess I'll start with the fightings. Hitmonchan. And the bills for extra draw power. Um, I'll keep the switching gust of winds in there. I think with the extra draw, I can afford to use one less potion and probably one less energy as well. So we will call that a complete-ish starter deck. And with that. I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I head over to Ishihara's house to meet up with Nikki.